This is Paul. <laughs> you know uh, that uh, combustion motor? Yeah. <laughs> that turns the propeller of the plane? Yeah. <laughs> exactly what is the RPM necessary to <laughs> cause a plane to lift off yes. and rise up into the air? Yes. <laughs> Fly for, <laughs> for as long as it's flying yes. until the fuel runs out. <laughs> And then allow it to land on that private airport? Yes. No, I mean every airport. Mm -hmm. In fact, give me the ownership of every plane in every nation of the world. <laughs> now, let's say I had an electric motor, yes. similar to what the Pontonic uses, yes. to be able to... Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm cause the drive shaft to go yeah, that turns the rear and front axle. <laughs> if I designed an electric motor yeah, <laughs> that I can put in vehicles, <laughs> how much faster does a motor in a um, biplane yes, have to go <laughs> to cause liftoff and landing? Yes. <laughs> Now, if you could just get me all the ownership of every propeller plane everywhere in the world at every airport, yes. I'm thinking I'm going to buy the airport, yes, yes. and then I'm going to make this electric motor that's faster than an actual vehicle motor, yes. turning the propeller, yes. and then somehow I'm going to connect a little miniaturized dam electric gener generator on the back of it, yes. so as to load up a battery yes. that has glowing, I mean, Blowing in the night sky. <laughs> now, after I get her going, yes, that propeller starts turning around. <laughs> There's a possibility that I could redesign the propeller aircraft. <laughs>